Ah, America, land of the free, home of the brave, the place I've learned to call home. However, it is not the place of my birth. It is not my original home country. I can't put my dick on YouTube. No, nobody can see your dick. You can blur, right? You original viewers know I'm from the beautiful country of Trinidad and Tobago. Have you ever noticed when someone talk about their home country, they always throw in beautiful? It's the first adjective they always use to describe it. Oh! Hey, what, what, do you, what do you mean, and Tobago? Like, like a separate chunk of land? What, what sorcery is this? You can't have two different. Oh, you mean like how you guys have got Hawaii? Or even better, have you heard of the Philippines? Multiple islands, one country. Huh, touche. Okay, now I wouldn't say we were poor, but we didn't always have amenities most folks take for granted. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Amenities like electricity, boys, couldn't always afford it all of the times, you know? Switching off your power back then wasn't like in America, where they kill your lights at the flick of a wrist. Look at the flick of their wrist. No, they had to physically come to your place with a cherry picker and disconnect your house from the electrical pole outside. And of course, it always drew a crowd. But eh eh, the game the car and cut again. But what a jail is this boy? That's how we would refer to our power back then. Current. We'd always call it current. You know, like electrical current. Way sir, Tian Tech always come into your house, boy. Okay, so Tian Tech was the main power company back then. They pretty much had the country on lock. So after many trips to and from our residence, yeah, we we had our power cut quite often. Anyway, my dad being an extremely talented and resourceful individual began to take note on how they went about their process and the gears began to turn. So back then my dad ran his own at home body shop. Obviously you can't operate power tools and air compressors without power. Bye, your current gone again. Yo, why are you in my house, bro? Bye, Dreadman. Brethren, brethren, you're asking the wrong questions. What you should be asking yourself is why in your house and you ain't offer me no drink yet? But where the carib, bye. Where the carib? Now, we may not have always had that Skrilla, but my dad would always do his best to provide for us. And for that, I am very grateful. Surprise, motherfucker. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? So, after TN Tech leaves from cutting our power again, he pulls up with his own ladder, climbs the pole, and then it happened. Ah! Psych! The deed was done. Oh, he's stealing! He's stealing! We now had power, but we had one strict rule with this newfound power. Don't turn on the lights after dark. It would, it would obviously draw way too much attention. He's stealing! We spent many, many nights with kerosene lamps and candles, my guy. Now, my dad didn't know it at the time, to my prepubescent mind back then, him getting us the power back his own way was gangster as f Watch your profanity. By your father, is a dread man. But it was short lived, cause TN Tech was hip to the jive. Oh, Remember, back then, they couldn't just look at the flick of their wrist, which meant they gotta get in the truck, come all the way back to our spot. This eventually became routine. Truck would show up. Neighbors would show up, being all nosy and shit, but he stopped Mako in. My dad was smart though. He was not saying shit, but bet your ass he was out there with the rest of the nosy ass neighbors, acting surprised as hell. Wait now, you mean to tell me my current was on this whole time? But what a jail is this? Trinis absolutely love using that expression. Bye, your current getting cut again? But what a jail is this? Eventually, things did improve for us. We moved to a new apartment in a new town, and since moving, we never had problems with our power again. However, 
we did still have a bunch of other things to deal with. That's for another story. The moral of this story? When TN Tech shows up at your spot to cut your power again, just play coy. But what EGL is this? Oh, he's stealing! Bar girl, three way. Three way! Okay, so I'm hanging out in Tiger! I can't put my dick on YouTube. No, nobody gonna see your dick. You can blur, right? Hey, boys, thanks again for watching my bullshit video. I know this one was different. Chime in, let me know what your favorite part was. If any of you could actually relate to this, I'd be interested in hearing your stories. Probably can't relate though. Being poor in America versus being poor in a different country, it's not the same. It's just completely different levels. You guys get government assistance and your food stamps and government housing and all that shit. In other countries, you don't you don't get shit. You just, yeah. But uh, yeah, chime in below. Let me know where y'all are from. If you can relate, what your favorite part was. Definitely let me know what your favorite part was. And yeah, catch y'all later, man.